restlessness, worry, irritability, frustration, feeling of being on the edge, sleep difficulties. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, then you could be suffering from anxiety. We have been in an unprecedented situation for some time now. Nothing seems to be in our control, or at least it appears so. These feelings of anxiety could be mild right now, but if it's not controlled, they can have a larger impact on your physical and mental health. It's important to understand that anxiety manifests in both these areas, physical as well as mental, but it always begins in the mind. It always begins with the mind. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three steps that you can use to deal with mental anxiety. Let's get started. It's man versus virus. And so far, it looks like the virus is winning. This can leave us with a lot of anxious feelings. Now, anxiety is, uh, is absolutely normal. It's normal. For you to feel anxious but what's not right is disproportionate levels of anxiety that can end up impacting your mental health so if you're feeling mild levels of anxiety you may want to keep a check on it ensure that it does not consume you for this i suggest three-step approach step number one is for you to be aware of your anxiety how do you know you're anxious notice the kind of thoughts that is going on in your mind what are the kind of questions your mind is posing as part of the awareness exercise, I suggest you to write down all the thoughts and questions that are worrying you right now. Write them down in a piece of paper, not digital. So no tab, no phone and no laptop. Now keep this sheet pinned onto your board or anywhere where you can have an easy access so that you can add to this list every single time there's a question or a thought that pops up in your head. Now when you look at this list, you'll realize that all of them are about the future. Every single worry that is popping up in your head which is giving you the anxious feeling is for the future, all of them. So the second step is for you to bring your mind from the future to now, come to the now. This is mindfulness. And you can come to now by simply doing what we always do, to breathe. The only difference is that now you will be focusing on the breath that is entering and exiting your body. Here's what you should do. Sit in a comfortable position with your back upright. Try not to arch your back, but think that there is an invisible string that is pulling your spine up. You can tuck your tummy in to maintain this posture, but ensure you're comfortable. If this is not comfortable, you can lean back slightly and take the support of, your, of the wall or the chair. Now breathe in from your nose, deeply filling your lungs to the full capacity. Wait for a couple of seconds, then breathe out from your mouth, emptying your lungs completely. Repeat this exercise 5, 10, 15 times or as much as you can, ensuring that your focus is fixed on your breath. After this, notice how you are feeling. You'll definitely feel calmer and much more relaxed. You can do this exercise multiple times in a day or whenever you're feeling anxious. The more successful you are in bringing yourself to the current present moment, the better you will be able to get over your anxious feeling. Now that you're here, what can you do to prevent anxious feelings going forward? We go to step number three for that, which is gratitude. Just like how you made a list of anxious thoughts, make a list of all those things that you're thankful for and call it a gratitude list. When you inculcate the feelings of gratitude, you'll automatically look at every moment as a blessing. When your mind is feeling blessed, there is no room for negative thoughts or feelings in it. Now keep this list next to your anxious thoughts list. As powerful as negative thoughts are, by comparing them with things that you are thankful for will slowly transform your thoughts. So there you are, awareness, mindfulness and gratitude. Three steps that can help you transform your thoughts, thereby help you deal with your mental anxiety. If you still have trouble controlling your thoughts or the feeling of anxiety, I suggest you get in touch with either a counselor or a therapist. I can recommend some of my friends to you. Do let me know in the comment section below or re you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week with part two of this series on how you can deal with anxiety, physical anxiety. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.